I moved into Beck Road in February 78 and the first time I came to look at the house uh, I just thought no way I, there's no way I can live here <laughs> because the street was semi-derelict half the houses were boarded up and I was persuaded to take the house on because um, six months before that um, Helen Chadwick had moved in over the road with her partner and we bumped into them in, in the street and they took us over to their house and their house was fantastic you know and they came over and her partner was an architect he came over and he said look our house was much worse than yours when we moved in you know it'll be fine it'll be fine and Genesis P. Orridge was here he moved in a year or two before Helen I think so he, he was a kind of pioneer almost I guess um, there was Maureen Paley who lived who moved in about six months after me and we were really good friends we um, used to sort of live in and out of each other's houses and she was at the Royal College at the time and then after a few years she started putting on shows in her house and we did some things together. She did a show called The Toy Show. Another show called The Dog Show for some reason. Um, and there was quite a lot of collaboration between her and Helen and Genesis and Paula and Helen. Helen. I mean there was one incident I always remember with Genesis where the Salvation Army used to come and play in the street on a Sunday morning. This huge brass band would come and preach um, and I remember Genesis coming out and saying, get the fuck out of here, you, you know, how dare you wake me up in the morning, you know, and just sent them off. I think in the 80s it was more, I guess it was more, I mean, more in a funny way more alternative or yeah. more like with what Genesis was doing as well. I think. For instance, reading The Observer today, you've got Lynn Barber writing about going to Viner Street, you know, and it's just not, and it, it's still seen, I mean, the, I think what's going on now is seen as, although artists have taken control, it's still part of something that's really hip and chic almost, you know.